last phase of getting you to those muscle gains. So we gotta understand that there's three components. There's your nutrition component, your training component, and the supplements that I recommend for you to actually start to see body fat drop and for you to start to see those muscle gains. Now, before I go on guys, make sure you give this video a like so I can continue to put out hot fire for you and help you to get 1% better every single day. Now, the first thing you have to understand is that muscle thrives in a caloric surplus. So the first thing I wanna do with you is I want to assess whether you are in a caloric surplus. Because a lot of people tell me, hey, like I eat so much coach, and it's like, okay, you eat so much in one day, like you you know, ate a bag of chips, you had pizza, you had pop, you went to a kid's party, you had popcorn, blah, 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 and then the next day you pretty much starved yourself, okay? That to me isn't a consistent caloric surplus, and so your muscles aren't being constantly fed the nutrients and the calories that they need in order for them to grow. So the first thing if you're looking to put on muscle is let's assess what you're eating in a course of a minimum seven days to make sure that you're actually in a caloric surplus so that those muscles can thrive and grow. The second thing is are you tracking? Because what doesn't get tracked doesn't create change. And so if you ate bad on a Saturday and you feel like all you do is eat and then you barely ate on Sunday, barely ate on Monday, then you pigged out on Tuesday, that's an inconsistent cycle of calories. And so we wanna get you into a consistent cycle of calories and it starts with you tracking your food. And then are you consistent with your nutrients? Okay, so primarily your nutrition when it comes to putting ample amounts of grams of protein in you. We gotta understand that drinking one protein shake a day doesn't get you gains right away. It's a matter of are you hitting your protein goals that you and your belly burn coach have assigned to you and are you hitting them consistently and long enough that the muscles are getting fed the amino acids that they need to repair and regrow. So are you in a caloric surplus? Do we actually know that you're in a caloric surplus because you're tracking your food? And then are we feeding the muscles the right nutrients consistently so that they can repair and regrow? So that's your nutrition breakdown. Now when it comes to training, I would ask you, are you taxing the muscles so that they adapt to your daily demand? Because you can't lift a weight once every month and think that you're gonna see gains. You are what you consistently do. So if you're going into the gym and if you're just kind of picking whatever rates or around you and you're kind of working out and you're barely sweating and you're never sore, then there's a good chance that your muscles are not being pushed to their limits. And if the muscles aren't being challenged, there's not going to be enough change. And without challenge, there's not going to be any growth. Muscle requires breakdown. Okay, it needs to be challenged consistently. It needs to be pushed. Now, a lot of us can't handle that amount of soreness that comes with that types of push. And so we have to go back to the realistic expectations that, yeah, you can crush your body for 28 days. And I think there's a lot of benefits to that. And some people do that, but some people can't handle that because why? It's gonna mentally break you down. You're gonna be exhausted all day. You're not gonna have any energy for anybody else. So we have to either spread this out but make sure that each workout, you're challenging yourself in one area or the other, or you can shorten it and crush yourself for 28 days, then you'll really start to see muscle gains. But either way, the muscles need to be challenged. No challenge, no change. The way that you can challenge it is either go harder, you can just mentally push yourself. You know what it takes, track your calories, track your heart rate, make sure that you're pushing yourself, or you can do through progressive overload. So how much are you bench pressing? How much are you lat pull downing? How much are you shoulder side raising? How much are you squatting? Like these are all areas that you can easily track every time that you do the same exercise. And then you can challenge yourself to do a progressive overload where you're making it heavier each time. Now, the last part of training is that are you hitting the muscles that you want to see that are gonna stick out from the rest of the body? So if you wanna have bigger legs or you want to see more ass then you need to train more legs and train more ass okay fit club we try to make it as balanced as possible we know what areas everybody wants to work on a lot of people think that hey i'm just going to do a bunch of booty work and then think that their legs are going to get thicker well that's not the case like the booty requires resistance and so you should be doing resistance training in order for you to 
pack on more muscle through progressive overload, making sure that you're in that caloric surplus and giving your body ample amounts of nutrients so that we can repair and regrow those muscles into that area. So your training needs to be more intense. You need to make sure that you're doing a progressive overload and you need to be training the body parts that you want. If you want an overall physique, then a full body workout is what you should be looking at. If you want to focus more on the lower body, then I would say that you can do a 60-40 split where it's 60% lower body and 40% upper body. I would never recommend for you to do just lower body exercises. You got to train the body in full, otherwise you're going to become unbalanced. And once you get unbalanced, it's going to be hard to get balanced again because mentally you just don't want to do it. So 60-40 if you're focusing on your legs. If you want an overall body, try to do a complete split between upper body, core, and lower body. Now when it comes to supplements, you have to understand that supplements do different things for different people. So for me to get into a complete supplement talk, this is a generalized video. And so when it comes to fat burning, you want to focus more on the fat burners. So one of the best weight management supplements out there is the leaner that is only available at Fit Club. It's got a little bit of everything that you need when it comes to appetite, when it comes to burning fat. When it comes to building muscle and dropping body fat, then I would recommend for you to go into the C4. The reason why I like C4 above any other brand, and again, I have no direct connection with C4, is that they include creatine monohydrate. Plus, you're gonna get all the other stimulants that are gonna help with the muscle building and get you more pumped and get you more ramped up. So you're gonna be able to do the progressive overload, but you're also gonna be able to push yourself harder in a training session. So I'd go from just leaner, if you're focusing on weight and fat management. If you're done with the weight loss and you wanna focus more on the fat management and building muscle, that's when I'd transition over to the C4. So those are the two best products that I would get you on. If we were standing face to face, say, what product should I take? Do you want to focus more on weight loss and focus more on fat loss or do you want to focus on building muscle and fat loss? But it can't be building muscle because it requires a surplus and trying to lose weight. They're two opposite ends of the scale. So leaner for your weight loss and your fat loss, C4 for your muscle gaining and fat loss. Now, if you guys are looking for more direct coaching, you're looking for a badass workout, you're looking for a great environment and you're not with us at Fit Club, www.fitclub.fit, mention the five days by sending us a message. Now, if you're looking to either drop weight or drop fat or build muscle and drop fat or having the right belly burn coach to guide you to do both, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn.